Hey guys, Happy Couple here. Today's video is how to rebuild lost trust in a relationship. And this goes for romantic relationships, but also all relationships. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. Ding, ding. The first thing you're gonna wanna figure out is if you want to rebuild this trust, yeah. right? Sometimes when you have a trust losing situation, it's actually the person's real vibes coming out. And maybe you notice, oh, this has actually been a pattern and this isn't something that's going to change. If it's not, then that's good to realize now. If it's something where the person made a mistake and you lost some trust and you want to rebuild it, and they want to rebuild it, and you want to grow and move forward, well then, awesome. That is totally, totally possible. And now that that's established, you can actually get on to doing that. And the reality is you can always rebuild it if you want to and if they want to. Totally. Like if you do, there's, there's always a solution. Also, just keep in mind that key fact, like there are certain times where a friendship is actually toxic and these things are actually toxic and you might be better off not being with that person or in close proximity or connected with them. So you just really have to look at the situation, look at who they are and, and weigh, is this really gonna be benefit your life and the, li the life of others around you? So people can change and they can get better. And I mean, we've seen it. I, you know, my dad did drug rehab for inmates for 20 years and helped, you know, save tens of thousands of people's lives. Oh, yeah. I've seen change occur. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if a person really wants to and does it, then that is possible. The key there though, is that the person wants to and then does it. Right. Because saying you want to and convincing others and, and all of that, but then the actions not ever following that, means that they don't actually want to. Like even in theory, in some sort of like weird whatever way, they might kind of want to, but if the actions never follow, I have just come to the conclusion that person just doesn't want to. And they might want to years down the road and that's fine, but do you, like, do you want to stick around for that if it's not actually something that they really want to change and they're going to take that ownership? Because at the end of the day, Someone changing their lives, anyone changing their lives, it has to be like a self-determined action. Yep. You can't force someone to change. So if they are actually at the point where they want to do that and they're ready for it and they go through the actions to do that, then people absolutely can change. Okay, so in terms of steps of how do you actually do that, so step one would be communicate. Lots of communication. Like what happened for you? Like how did it feel? How, what was the consequence of the situation? Not in a way to make that person feel bad or wrong about it, because if you guys are actually trying to resolve it, they probably already feel bad. And frankly, they already feel more bad than anybody else can make them feel. Like if they're actually ready to do something about it, they've already, they're already starting to look at it themselves. There's nothing that we can do to make another person feel bad right. that they're not already going like, okay, I, I know I screwed up, I wanna do this. Because at that point, when they want to make that change, they are already starting to take responsibility for it. So now to sit there and be like, oh, you're so terrible, you yeah. messed up, is like, you're undoing some, pro like they've already made progress going, I wanna fix this. I want to rebuild this trust, so. You can start with, saying what happened and all of that with you, but just so that you can say, look, I just want you to understand this so that I can also move on, so that I can right. say, okay, good, we've, we've gone over that and, and I'm good now, you know? And it, so it makes it good for both of you if you do it on that way. And you continue communicating until it starts to lighten up, it'll start to change. And, and communication is so powerful. You just keep communicating it will change things. And as part of that, like really go over and work out what agreements might need to be in place that maybe weren't in place that led to whatever situation that you're now working through. Not in like a, all right, everybody, we're gonna get very serious and here's our, you know, relationship here's contract and whatever. Yeah. Like uh, in a natural way, like, you know, we, we have agreements. Oh yeah. It, everyone has agreements, whether they're fully voiced and known about, that might be another story, but you have certain expectations. So make sure that you all communicate of those about things, them because the other yeah. person, you don't expect them to be a mind reader either. Yeah, make sure that all of that is like really hashed out and agreed on. Work on keeping the relationship being created. If you want to rebuild trust, don't go, 
well, there was something that made it less trusting, so now I'm gonna just not create on it. Or hang on to it after you guys have already addressed it and that right. person has made the change. Right. Realize that part of the trust being rebuilt and you moving forward is actually moving forward. So you're gonna be creating on things that move you forward in life, in your relationship, and don't sit there fixating now on what is now the past. And the next point on this, don't talk bad about the person. Don't talk bad to other people about the person and don't fault find them. Stay positive, really talk to them and say like, hey, you're doing a great job on blah. Like whatever the good points are, continue to acknowledge them for that part. And you're gonna find they actually do that a lot more. Very true. We hope this video helps you rebuild trust in relationships that you want to rebuild trust in. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. No, the whole world. The whole world. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.